follow us on social networking sites facebook linux arcade is the page linkedin so ravi kumar is the profile name google place you can just enter red art enterprise linux step by step guide twitter at the rate of kumar 48 website you can visit arcade.co.in please subscribe to the channel thank you i'm going to do here it is that whether i have any external partition to this one or not let's see okay i did not have any partition here what i'm going to do here it is that i'm going to add a one partition okay hard disk and scuzzy hard disk here okay you can also create ide but it is not supported at scuzzy partition i'm going to create here start and create new disk okay so i'm going to create maybe a 30 gb of disk space okay and and i'm going to place this one okay that's it in the vms finish okay i have created my 30 gb disk space one more disk i have created okay now what i have to do here it is that simply reboot my server and after rebooting we can access that server okay now what is the command you have to use here it is that f disk iphone i iphone l okay now you can see here stb okay with 32 gb of space and sda is 40 gb of space right so that's what i said this is my first hard disk and this is my second hard disk disk only right hard disk right we attached a extra disk right okay now what i am going to do here it is we are going to use this sdb for creating some partitions on this okay so now you have disk f disk is the utility okay now provide which disk you you wanted to do a partition okay sdb sdb sd not sdba sdb okay so now here you can type m so you can it will provide you the help okay this is all the options but in this all the options we are going to see only something like uh, uh, t option okay and n option and uh, w and x option sorry w option uh most of the times we see p option okay rest of the options we may not see d also we can see okay but rest of the options we may not see okay but most of the times we may not use those part options as well also okay and for creating new you just to type n okay now it is asking see here what is you want to create now you want to create with the primary or you want to gather with is extended okay first one should be a primary always okay and eat enter so 
now it is asking you for the partition number okay which partition number you want to utilize 1 to 4 see here it is giving only 1 to 4 why because the primary can only be created from 1 to 4 only right so that's why it is giving 1 to 4 only so by default I want to create 1 okay now it is asking you for the which sector numbers from which sector to which sector you wanted to create your partition okay either you can provide your sector numbers as well but as of now I am not calculating my disk space in sectors I want to calculate in the space in the MBs and uh, uh, GBs okay it enter no not provide any sectors here you don't if you not aware anything of about the sectors now provide a size plus okay how much you want to create I want to create a 2 GB partition okay plus 2 G in the sense I am creating 2 GB a partition size size enter okay now let's see whether partition is created or not by hitting the P P will print your partition table okay now my SDB1 has been created from starting sector is 2048 and end one is 4196 something like that okay how many blocks are used and what is the ID here so ID is 83 if you can type L okay it will show you all the IDs here so what does mean by 83 so where is my 83 partition number here 83 is Linux partition okay 8 E is Linux LVM partition okay the fifth number is extended partition okay so what type of partition we can create so there are a number of but out of it we use only few okay so maybe extended or this number why I am again repeating so this also we can create swap partition okay Linux partition and ATE why I am showing these numbers here it is that you have to remember that ID is always okay so 82 is for Linux swap 83 is for Linux and 8E for Linux LVM okay that you have to remember always extended partition is 5 so there are a number but most of the times we may not use now what I have to do here it is as of now I made a, I have created the partition but I did not update the partition table yet so to do your partition table update what you have to do W Q write and quit from the session okay now what it is saying the partition table has been written altered but if you create a partition the kernel does not know that whether the partition is exists or not so to do update your kernel what you have to do type here it is that part probe slash dv slash sdb so what we are doing here it is that we are updating our kernel saying that yeah I have created the partition remember this okay whenever you whenever I reboot the machine do remember to in uh, load this partition related information okay that's what I am saying to kernel now so I so I have updated to kernel now go to ftsk l see here my partition has been created okay now what we have to do this one sdb1 sda sda is above one right okay okay so sdb1 has been created now what i have to do here it is that you have to make the file system so as i said ext2 ext3 ext4 or xfs any file system you can make it so mkfs in a sense make file system dot 
which one you wanted to make ext2 ext3 ext4 anything you can provide okay slash dev slash sdb1 so when i say make the file system then what it's going to do enter then what it's what it does so it is going to create a blocks different types of blocks okay it's going to create a super blocks it's going to create a data blocks okay and it's also define that partition into a different i known numbers okay why it's going to create a different type of i known numbers or the super blocks or the data blocks because whatever the file system whatever the files you are going to store on that partition will be calculated as numbers okay the file system it does not understand by the uh, operating system the operating system only understand zeros and ones right in the same way so the i known numbers will be calculated like this see here so how many blocks has been created here it is this how many i knows has been created okay this many blocks is formatted and this many i knows has been created so whenever you save whenever you keep some file on that it will be updated the partition tables in the super blocks says uh, your file one has been written from this i known number to this i known number okay and you have updated file from this one I, this i known number to this i known number so it will calculate all the files like this only in the linux so whenever you are referring whenever you are opening the files what it is going to do here it is that the hard disk is going to look into that actual what are the i known numbers has been rated from where to where the file has been rated so that is going to read that portion of hard disk then your file will be opened on the whenever you clicking on the file it's going to read that i know range what is the i know range it is written on that piece of information it's going to read on the hard drive okay so now what i did i make the file system but i did not mounted any partition here so for to do thing what i have to do here it is create some mount point or some directory for that directory we are going to use it as a mount point okay so what i'm going to do here it is that part one i'm saying mkdir part one now mount slash dv slash sdb1 to part one and say mount hyphen a for any errors and uh, it is not properly mounted or it, it's going to refresh okay now type df hyphen h yes how much space we have created here so with 2 gb size we have created out of it 6 mb is already used by the file system and 1.8 gb is has been free here okay so now if i type df hyphen i it is going to show you show my i node numbers so how many i don't numbers it has and how many free i nodes it has how many i node numbers it is used already okay how much percent of the of i nodes has been used okay this is the i node number information something like this if i have some files here if i if i copy from here to there okay anaconda file or in shade file ravi file and this file i'm going to copy into part one okay remember this here it is that how many i nodes i have and how many i nodes i used okay now copied and i'm going to show you now how many i nodes has been used now 15 but if i type df and h still it shows one percent only and 1.8 gb is free right so if your file size is smaller then you cannot identify in the space so this space can be calculated only one some 1 mb file is copied or 2 mb file is copied then that time you are going to see this percentage in a human readable par format but the i nodes each and every file will be calculated in the backend as a i nodes 
okay so the i know numbers from way to way the i know number has been copied all the stuff will be specified here are shown in the df hyphen i option so now what i did i have created the partition standard partition and i have formatted the file system i have made the file system on that partition and mounted that partition to the one directory so why we are going to see this so here the example is simple okay if you have an a home okay i can take maybe different okay if i have an a home then how you will enter into the home okay you can enter by door or if you are crazy if you can enter from the window as well right or if you can enter from the back window as well if you have but if you enter from here or if you enter from here or if you enter from here where you are going okay you are going into the inside to the home okay in the same way if you mount your partition to the any of the directory okay you, you may be mount to the as of now i said example like part 1 or if you may be going to mount into the different um, uh, like uh, lan 1 something uh, if you say okay or slash maybe you can say something like uh, uh, u01 u02 something like that okay anything you can specify here okay but if you see from here or if you see from here or if you see from here what you are seeing whatever the files are there inside the partition okay you are seeing the file system so as an example as simulation of this simple okay if you go from any window but you are going in inside the home so if you see from this this directory or so if you utilize this uh, part one as a mount point or learn one as a mount point or u01 as a mount point okay but ultimately you are going to see the files what are there on the partition okay not on the this directory okay you are getting my point okay so simple right dffnh so this partition information i am mounting it here and i am looking from slash part one okay if i want to unmount slash part one okay maybe i can make some directory as slash u01 and i'm just unmounting this part one here okay and mounting slash dv slash sdb12 slash u01 okay but if i go to slash u01 and see the files what are there so what are the files are there on this partition only right if i see lsf on l slash part one nothing is available because i unmounted that file system in the sense i removed that window there is no window now if you go to that window you will go nowhere right so if the window is attached to your home then if you go from that window then you will go to home but if you remove that window kept aside and if you are going into that window you will go nowhere okay in the same example so if the directory is mounted to some partition and if you are entering to that directory which means that indirectly you are looking at the files of that partition okay you get it that's what I told you right nothing is there right yeah after unmounting it it will be empty only right I have created empty directory 
but I mounted that. Yeah. Okay. So now you got the what is mount point or not? So what is the doubt in here? See what I am doing here it is I am just mounting I have created this partition and created the file system. Okay. So what I did here it is I made my home okay and I made my homes walls okay four walls I made but I did not made any door then how you will enter into that room not possible right so ultimately you have to make some window or you have to make some door so what I'm doing here it is that by mounting to another partitioning another uh, folder i am opening the door to that partition okay in the sense now my door is u01 if i enter into that door then i can able to see the files on this partition okay that is simply say mount point so mount point is used to see the files inside the partition okay simple so suppose say if you want to make a door on the east side you can make east to side if you want to make the door on the west side you can make the west side if you want to use a north side you can use north side so any side you can use it or any directory you can use it for mount point okay which should be free so like that you can mount any free home home directory so under the directory under the directory you can also mount like something like that so as an example i am saying here u01 i have mounted as of now okay but what i am doing here it is that mkdir p under u01 i am going to make one more directory called uh, lan1 say okay now what i am doing here it is that going to mount slash dv slash sdb1 to u01 slash lan1 okay now if i go to u01 there is nothing right there is lan1 but if i go to lan1 then there is actual files so which means that if you if you are looking at lan1 sorry if you are looking at u01 the u0 is not mounted to any file system okay it is representing your slash still it is under slash only but your lan1 is mounted to the partition like this okay now what we did here it is we have created partition we make the file system we mounted the we created the mount point and mounted it now if you reboot your machine then your file system is not going to available then if you type df-h it's go off then sdb1 is will be not visible to mount your file system permanently then what you have to do here it is that edit the configuration file called fs tab okay vi fs tab file we have to edit this one and make the entry in the last we have to add the entry here so first column you have to add your partition name what is the partition name you have made and what type of file system you have created ext4 and sorry xt4 and which mount point you want to mount okay i'm going to mount it to slash u01 okay and uh, defaults okay defaults you write it as defaults only 
okay zero slash zero space zero okay i will tell you later what is this defaults and zeros and zero okay don't worry about that but as of now what you have to do <coughs> you have to provide your device path file system type bound point defaults zero slash zero space zero defaults okay and save your file fs tab so what i'm doing here it is that i'm just unmounting this one as of now okay i'm not going to mount any partition but if i type mount iphone a the partition is automatically going to mount oh okay we made some mistake on the fs tab file okay okay sorry so it's other way okay first one is mount point and second one is partition type okay this one file system type and and now you have to type mount a so if you type d f h your partition is going to mount automatically if you reboot your machine also your partition will be come back automatically so if you add a entry had a entry on fs tab which means that you are mounting your file system permanently on the linux machine okay so this is the entry we made on the fs tab please subscribe to the channel thank you